So we went on this recent trip to the USA for work and we thought we'd share the adventures and the stories, the highs, the lows, the ups, the downs. Yeah, we know some people like to know the details of the journey and we thought it was a very interesting journey. So maybe okay. this is warranted this time. We don't usually do this, but let's see. Maybe you'll enjoy it. So we were, the reason we went there in the first place was for an organization in northern Michigan who had inquired much earlier in the year about coming out to their all staff event to upskill both their managers and then all of their staff as well around resilience and how to stay strong. Obviously, in healthcare services, they've had a really rough time at a, over the past few years. And yeah, they were getting everyone together for an in-person event, feel good, but also give people some tools and some skills and prepare them for the next chapter moving forward. Which is great, Anna, because this was the number one, or is the number one mental health organization in Michigan, a government organization. And they called us to come over yeah. and train the yeah. people. So that was a very a big privilege for us to be invited. Uh, and um, then we had to go to the States. Yep. <laughs> so the normal things of turning up to the airport, uh, going through customs, which here in Malaga is not too bad. No, easy. It's very easy. Yeah. And then waiting for the plane, taking off. We, uh, we left uh, late, actually. We yeah. were leaving late, which meant that we had a very tight connection in Heathrow. Yes. And I remember we were ready to go off the plane, run, you know, because <laughs> Heathrow is a big airport. Mm. If anyone's been there, it's it's massive. And we... We literally were already meant to be boarding our next plane when we got off. Yeah, so we, we had just, to run a lot. We ran. We? <laughs> we got through security and the guy goes, oh, you'll never make it. And I thought, well, thank you very much. This is the but start But nobody of... was hurrying up. No, no, no. <laughs> because we were late. This is the start of a big adventure. <laughs> we, we need to get there. But um, positive thinking. We went through. And, of course, I left something in my, you know, bottle of water in my bag. So they had to stop security. But long story short, we ran 27 minutes. Actually, it wasn't a bottle of water. It was the the bottle that we bought in as a gift, a, yeah. as a gift in yeah, the duty free in the duty free which was sealed in the duty free yeah and they still took their time to open it up making sure check it even though it's their own stuff but um yeah everything seemed to work against us yeah that was the very start of the journey <laughs> yeah, the start. and it was a sign of things to come so that was very interesting because there was a lot of things like that in the journey that was trying to undermine our attitude and our spirit yeah yeah. Even though when we turned up to the event and, and the interview later, yeah. everything went yeah. better than expected. Yeah. But um, it, it was interesting. But, I mean, we landed in... Like we, we were being tested. So in one week, we had three different cities that we visited in the US for different reasons. So we landed in New York and that was a day or two just to acclimatize to the time difference. And I've never seen New York, so I wanted to see it. Um, and New York, you know, the, has a reputation for people being direct and abrupt and whatnot. But that wasn't my experience. We had met so many We're really nice, nice people. people. Um, really nice people. Really helpful people too. Um, especially when we went to Central Park. Yes. You know, we go into Central Park. It's a fairly big place. So they've got these information drawings, maps, and we were just standing there working out where to go and a few people came over and said how oh, do you need help yeah you know where you are you know and they're giving extra information it's like so many kilometers around like really lovely people but nowhere outside of the park did anyone just come and offer assistance no, well, for no reason it was like as soon as you go into nature as soon as you go into the park <laughs> everyone just turned lovely very nice <laughs> went to a lot of delis new york i found you could get Pretty much anything from anywhere in the world, which was really mm. cool. So. Yeah, it was very good. There's a lot of variety, at least in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of variety. Yep. Uh, but people are lovely. That, that was very nice. Mm. So really We also just... did a, the Chicago ah, yes, show. The show. And by that time, I was so tired. <laughs> yeah. I fell asleep two or three seven, times. It was <laughs> a 7 p.m. Not... show. And you... <laughs> I know, but 7 p.m. He here is very late it at is, night. Yeah. So. My body was all over the place. It was a great show, mm -hmm. really professionally done. From a yeah. professional aspect of a production, it was brilliant, yeah. really, really good. Yeah. yeah. And it was the first time I've actually seen that show and there were some really interesting themes. Like the psychologist in me is always like yeah. analyzing and um, there were really interesting themes about you know, crime and justice and punishment and responsibility and, and men and women and yeah, yeah very, very interesting, very yeah. relevant. I could still relevant, it, even yeah. though 
You couldn't understand what they were saying with they the accents. <laughs> they didn't have subtitles, <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't understand half of it. But it was well produced. Yeah, the acting was good too. Yeah. Like seasoned actors, they were not young, yeah. but they, they were, they, they had a lot of skill. I highly recommend it. Yeah. So then the next day, I think we, we, we only had a day in New York to pretty much do everything. And then we landed in Michigan late at night. Mm. So I just went straight to the hotel, but beautiful area, Traverse mm. City. Very nice. Gorgeous. And, Very um, nice, worth visiting. Yeah, one of the mm. staff. Um, and we didn't even have sunny, really sunny days. But, but, I, but imagine in mm -hmm, summer, that mm -hmm. would be a gorgeous area to, to holiday in. Absolutely. Mm. And they went out of their way because we got in late. We couldn't get any food. Nothing was open. But the staff went out of their way to find something that we could eat at night. And then the next day, one of the staff from the organization we're working with came and picked us up and took us on a little tour of the area, which was mm. lovely. They've got lots of fresh produce and fruits yeah. and... Wine, Clarice, yes. Clarice. Yeah. she was lovely. Yeah. She is lovely. She's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we went straight into an afternoon, like a half day workshop training the leaders mm. for this organization. Yeah, around. that was the first workshop. Yeah. The one for leaders, which was three and a half hours, half a day. Yeah. Uh, that went really well. It, it, we had a couple of issues with the sound a, a couple of times, and some people couldn't hear what I was saying. Um, but otherwise, I think the content made a difference yeah. and got everybody thinking on the right way for the next yeah. day, yeah. the big, the big, the big event. event. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So this was more contained, was a, a small... Yeah, pre-event yeah, event. Yeah, like 40 <laughs> people, 30, 40 people yeah. only. And then uh, the later event was 300 people. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, Which the event, the big event was at the same hotel that we were staying. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it had a great gymnasium too. The gym was great. Yeah. <laughs> it had a lot of machines. Yeah. We managed so, to get, actually the whole way through the trip, yeah. we managed, I mean, it was only a week, but we managed to get to the gym Some exercise at least it. every other day yeah. through the trip, which was good. It was good. Um, but yeah, then big event day, we had had all of our facilitators um, from mm. different parts of the US fly in ready because 300 people for the big event. So mm. We needed a team to be able to, you know, make sure everyone was supported through the event. And so they all flew in and it was all go all day. Um, yeah. You know. It was good. It was good that I, I just went into the zone. For some reason, I just went, was in the zone and I said, you're in charge of all the logistics. Don't bother me with everything. Just make sure nobody gets in my way. Yeah. And that worked fantastically because yeah. I just went for it. And the venue, yeah. I have to say, like the organization and the venue, both of them mm. had everything really, really well, well set up. Yeah, Best yeah, yeah. that we've ever right. experienced. Cynthia, Stacy, um, everybody there, Brian, they had everything the so people. well organized. So when we come in and said, oh, it would be better if this table was there, no problem, we move it, we need a chair here, we need mm. this set up differently there. Da, 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 da. We had two IT people taking care At of least. us. I yeah, that, that's, I've, never, yeah. I've never had that before, yeah. you know, people that, and they really solve problems. They and, were onto it. And that's important because mm. it's so, so often like minor details can make such a big difference to the experience of the participant in the room mm. that mm. people wouldn't think about, but, you know, just things like the way the room's set up and the stage is set up and mm. those sorts of things, they play a big And the microphone was perfect. Part. It yeah. never failed once. Mm -hmm. It never gave any problems. It was a little Britney Spears type of microphone. Yeah. You will see all that in a, in a video yes. that will be is already being edited and that. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was yeah. good to have the, the everything nicely organized, really professionally done. A professional venue, two projectors yeah. on each side, so people could easily see the slides as they came up. No, everything. And we had well. people because the training is always really interactive. Yeah. So we had people as mic runners to run around and get feedback from the groups yeah. when they did different activities and the people were standing up and moving around yeah. and and then we had like you said the camera crew there as well capturing yeah. capturing bits and pieces so so i think was, there's going to be good videos that come yeah. out of that and people will be able to yeah. to, to see that yeah definitely. um we they invited us they took us out for dinner yes as well one night um, so hospitable. They yeah. really were. That really stood out. Mm. They were very nice to deal with. Yeah. So after that, we, we took off. Um, we had but to actually, say our goodbyes. Be, before that, which though, I'm sorry because I didn't get my bottle of 
extra virgin olive oil from the area because <laughs> I know they make very nice extra virgin olive oil, but we'll I missed that on get. We'll, get it next we'll time. have to get it next we'll get time. It next time. But it was very interesting because we had been thinking, how's this going to go over? Obviously, we both have the Australian accents and, yes. you know, we're talking about things like well-being. And there are, you know, a lot of organizations actually ask that around like, well, you know, we've got staff in different areas and there's different cultures. And it is true that it's obviously true. different cultures have different ways of doing things. What we found was that at the end of the day, and, and we've said this many times, humans are humans and our fundamentally our brains kind of all work more or less yeah. the same in the same ways so right. while we're very much open to you know people are diverse and we you know very we encourage people to respect diverse ways of viewing the world and diverse yeah. um, even when it comes to resilience different tools people connect with different tools differently yeah. and that's fine but you know but in psychology the beauty humanity. of our psychology if a, a true psychology is evidence-based psychology, it looks at the at how the brain works and how it helps us function. Mm. So that's there's a commonality to that. There's yeah. not the diversity. Yeah. My brain doesn't work any different than yours. Mm. I may have a different thinking patterns, yeah. but specifically the mind works pretty much the same. But even if you yeah. are neurodiverse, mm. for example, I mean that's that a new term. Mean a lot. Yeah. That term's come up more and more lately it's kind of a new term out mm. there in the psychological world but but even so i mean everyone's neurodiverse I, 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 and everyone's I, I, yeah, the I don't, same I don't at the same time i yes. understand what they're trying to say but i think it's the wrong term there is no such thing as a diverse neurology we all have pretty much the same neurology is how we use it mm. that can be different yeah the software so, and the hardware yeah that's right <laughs> you know you have the same hardware uh, pretty much the same hardware and then how do you use that hardware? Mm. The software can be very, very different between one yeah. human, human yeah. being and another. But the principles at work... And the thing is, it doesn't matter what culture you come from, everybody or, or what, you know, who mm. you are, everybody has stresses sometimes, everyone yeah. is well sometimes, yes. everyone everyone suffers yeah. at times, you know, we all like, have uh, common experiences. My so. phone company... Stopping my service in the middle of the trip, yeah, for that, example, that happens just too. when I needed it most. Yeah, the printer when we urgently needed things printed, uh, and it, then the printer broke down. Ex the, the cartridge exploded inside of the printer. We had to come up with Plan B at the last minute. So we were tested. Um, we were tested right throughout, mm -hmm. and if we had focused on those things, it would have, yeah, it would have impacted mm. the result. But, we're but there. we didn't. Well, we're there teaching resilience. You've got to practice what you preach and be like, okay, yeah. stay calm. What's it was a good plan lesson. B? <laughs> like personally, it was a good lesson, like how, how we both reacted to things. It was, yeah. it was brilliant. Yeah. It was and, and the team as well. Hmm. They were, they were brilliant. We're really, really happy with our team, both, hmm. both in the US and, yes. and in other places around the world too. We've got a very strong hmm. team, very happy. We had four people there yeah. from the US come in and help from our team. And it was very nice to meet them in person as well. Yeah. Lovely people. We don't always get the opportunity Lots to come skill. together in person. So very nice. It's good. It's cool. And then Nashville, the third city. <laughs> yes. We headed off to Nashville and... This is my third time in Nashville. I yes. love Nashville. Yeah. This is your second time yep. in Nashville. Yeah. I didn't well, try the grits this time. <laughs> you didn't need to. I didn't need to. No. <laughs> but I, I didn't try them this time. And I'm just trying to remember. Nashville... Straight to the hotel, which was actually a little bit outside of the city. And then we went into the city because it was a Friday. Was it a Friday night? Yep, Friday so night. Let's go have downtown a look. Nashville. Downtown Nashville. <laughs> Everybody's out partying, and we were just like, we we. The reason we were in Nashville is because we we're um, being interviewed um, by Joel Roberts, who's a ex number one radio host in LA. So brilliant, brilliant man. Um, and we had that interview on Saturday morning, the next morning. So Friday night, everyone's out partying and we knew we needed a quiet night. So um, yeah. we took a few photos in the main street and then headed off to a nice restaurant to have something and to done. eat. And, yeah. um, but people, it was very lively. I'm not yes. sure. Is, is the, the capital, the, the, the country music capital of the world, yeah. Nashville. And uh, almost every bar has got a yeah. stage with live music. So you're yeah. walking on the street and you can hear all this music yeah. coming at you and you can just stop in and wherever you like. I think it's probably like. the loudest yes. um, area that in the world ever that I've been <laughs> yes, to. Yeah, probably <laughs> walk down that street. <laughs> nice we, and yeah, typical. That's good. 
yeah. dinner, home, the inter- the get an early night's sleep, and then the next day the interview. Yeah. And, and the whole day went with the whole interview. Trip. The whole day went with the interview, you know, the makeup and the setting up of the cameras yeah. and all that stuff. Again, a mm. very professional production crew that came in. Mm. Um, it was just brilliant to see mm. Joel and his wife, Heidi, who we've known for, gosh, a decade at least. <laughs> but Probably. Haven't been able to see in person over the past few years. So um, that was great to see them in person. Mm. And, and uh, uh, Heidi being a producer, yep. she had a lot to say and to, uh, to direct Work the cameras. Out the outfits, what are you wearing, <laughs> the, the colours. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was brilliant. Yep. And then, of course, Joel is the master at getting things out of people. Yeah. So that was a very good interview. I think we'll have a very nice video for you guys with lots of topics that are relevant in today's society around mental health mm-hmm. and well-being. But what was also really interesting is this trip to the States, you could really see the change in their understanding about workplace well-being. Absolutely. Because when we first used to go way back, and we would tell people yeah. about the institute, about what we did. Six years ago, not so long ago. They didn't, they didn't really f- understand, like, what is that? And, it, and in Australia, yeah. we've been doing it yeah. for, for 20 years. It didn't compute. Years. It didn't compute. They couldn't even grasp what we, what we did. What now, is, you what, tell, this is what we do. Oh, my God, we need that. Yeah. The, the change has been night and yeah. day. But mm. that's what I was saying, that back then in the beginning, people... What, what is workplace mental health? What is that? I don't get it. So your counsellors? No, we do education. They didn't get it. Now every workplace is either they've got it, they've had training, or they want it, or they say we need it. Yeah. It's, yeah. They're, Definitely. But I, I think what's going to be interesting as well is, as I said, Australia and the UK have been doing this for quite some time, quite a lot of, you know, over 20 years now. It's been part of our workplace health and safety. It's a lot newer for a lot of other organisations. So there's kind of a journey that people go through from the beginning saying, oh, we need to, for example, raise awareness about this. We need to start the conversations and make it more comfortable for people to talk about it. Mm. And that's great if that's where you're at. But the next step that you see organizations need is, well, okay, now we're aware of it. Now we're talking about it, but now we need skills. Like what do I do? What do I say? What do I not say? And, And that I think is crucial. And then... There's all the other pieces that surround it, like how does this sit in our regular systems? What's our overall well-being strategy? Yeah. And so there's lots of different elements, yeah. and that's just the mental health side. Then you've got the resilience side of things as well. Yeah. So, yeah, every we see differences in different locations, but also different organisations are at different points in their journey. So yeah. it's important to match um, where they're at with what initiatives are being offered in yeah. the organisation too. So the interview went well. Um, and then tiring. we're going to have, <laughs> we, went, we, we got invited by Joel and Heidi to go and have dinner at their house. Yeah. And we're traveling towards their house in the Uber. And then yes. we get a text saying, your flight for tomorrow has been canceled <laughs> ah. <laughs> because of, and, of bad weather conditions. And we look out the window and it's, it's fine. Brilliant. <laughs> it's great. And I check on Google, what's tomorrow's weather? Fine. Okay. Well, that's weird. Yeah. But we needed that flight because we needed, that was from Nashville back to New York with one airline where we had a completely separate booking um, with another airline to get from New York back to home in oh, Europe. So, so we needed to go back home the next day. And it was critical. We've mm. got family waiting for us, like the little family who need us there. Yeah. And so we had a lovely dinner. We had, so we just, you know, but that was the moment yeah. in the taxi or the Uber it was. And I went, all right, right. I'm going to deal with this after dinner, right? I'm not going to panic. Right now, we're here for dinner. Yeah. We haven't seen them in years. Like, we're going to enjoy this. And we did. We had a nice Yeah, it was dinner. great. Lots it was of lovely interesting dinner. conversations. Look, you always have interesting conversations with Heidi and Joel. Yeah. And us. we go to places <laughs> very few people go, I think. <laughs> so it's, that's always fun. I like it. I love it. Uh, yeah. wish we were closer. We could do that more often, really. Yeah. Um, but after dinner, we went to the hotel. And you got onto the laptop. Started uh, researching. Okay, yeah. how do we get from Nashville? And this is, again, the, the resilience thing. All right, we're going to find a way to get to New York in for our 8 p.m. flight tomorrow. So how do, we how do I there? do it? How do I figure it out? It's 14 hours to drive. Yeah. Even That's if we hire a car first thing in the morning, there's no way we're going to make it in time, you know. Yeah. Even if we didn't stop for 14 hours, there's no way. So that's out of question. Um, 
are there other flights out of Nashville to New York? No, can't. Everything sold out. It's the next day. We're, you know, what if we went to? We fly to Atlanta, and then we. But can we fly if the weather's bad? Well, it looks like other airlines still have flights available. So what was so the solution? You came up with a good solution. It took me two hours, but eventually I found yeah. a route that worked. <laughs> so I Involved had everything it. booked in, <laughs> and that was midnight. I went to sleep set the alarm for 3 a.m. So, and he didn't know anything about this because he was already asleep and I didn't want to disturb that. So it's I just set the alarm. At 3 a.m. I woke up and I said, right, you got half an hour to pack. Pack your bag yeah. again. Let's get out of here. Get yeah. down to reception and we called the Uber because we're a little bit out of the city. We're away from the airport. So it took about 20 minutes for the Uber to come. Mm. But we got to the airport in Nashville to check in. And our airline that had canceled the flight had nobody lined up outside the desk. No one was there. Every other airline, yeah. no problem. They so were all operating. I don't think it was weather. I no, something think it else. was something else. But it, might, it was major for them to do that because everything was closed. Staff issue, maybe. But anyway. Maybe they need problem. some mental health and resilience. Maybe, maybe. Well, <laughs> if they didn't need it before, they need it now after that. And we went to Washington. So we flew Nashville to Washington, pick up our bags, catch a taxi, go to a different airport in Washington. An hour away. An hour away. Check in. Do the same process. another plane, go to New York, pick up our bags, From get the another Guardia taxi. To get JFK. Over wasn't the it? JFK. Yeah, JFK. But we made it there in time. We so did make flight, it. Flight. Taxi, flight, taxi, and then we finally checked in for our international flight. So well but done. Good time, job. We made it. You did a good job um, there, finding that. Because uh, yeah. it would have been terrible And to exhausted, delay um, but mm. we made it. It was one of those times like, well, mm. we're just going to do whatever it takes to find a way. We've got to get home. Because yeah. if not, it would have been a delay of another two days mm. um, by the, just with the way that they had the scheduling done. So, yeah. And, and are proud of us that we didn't, hold on to the negativity energy around these events. It was, mm. it was almost like we were being tested. Yeah. Okay, we're going to throw another ball at you. We're going to throw another thing at you. Let's see what you do with this. That's fun. It's like just tennis. Bring so it I'm on. just going to keep hitting just it bring back. Just bring it on. <laughs> Cancel flight, no problem. <laughs> no problem. We'll oh, and then when we landed eventually back home, our bags didn't make it. Yes, <laughs> so that's we... another one. <laughs> Until the next day, we didn't have our bags. <laughs> so... So everything was like that throughout yeah. the journey, like say, hey, are you real about this resilience thing or you just preach it? But you know what? Yeah. The event, the interview, those yeah. things were amazing. Yeah. They were the things that Brilliant. were perfect. And that's what's important. And I, think, and I think it's because we were in the zone. We had made a decision. We knew exactly what we wanted, yeah. what, what, what the outcome was, and how we were going to perform with it because we prepare beforehand. We go through that mental exercise. And then uh, we say nothing is going to stop that. Yeah. We had that attitude. Yeah. So well done. Yeah. Well done. From that regard. So that, that was our trip to the States. Mm -hmm. And then it took me about a week to get rid of the jet lag. I'm <laughs> pathetic with jet lag. <laughs> but uh, that was probably the hardest thing It took me about a week <laughs> to catch up on emails <laughs> and check in with our team. Our wonderful team who, you know, holds down the fort all the time when we have yeah. these commitments to do. So. But we're very excited because we think that the camera crews that we had in Michigan and in Nashville will be doing a wonderful, wonderful yeah. job with the, what they've got. Coming soon. Content. So we'll be able to show you with more detail what happened at those events. And also you'll be able to watch the interview. So that's us. Thank you. Hope you have enjoyed yourselves. Leave us some comments. Or questions. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.